And there's another variable we have besides the interpolation curves in determining how that image is going to move from one keyframe to the next, and that's the keyframe smoothness. So I'm going to go ahead and open a track motion here for what I use to create this little example. And you can see the three keyframes. And notice up here in our controls, under keyframe, not only do we have type, which is going to be linear, sharp, hold, etc., but the smoothness as well. And the default is zero. It wasn't always zero, but it is these days. Now the smoothness really won't have any effect if you have less than three keyframes. It's only going to affect the keyframe that lies between two other ones. On this example, of course, we have the first position, central middle, and then down to the middle right there. So if I'm going to apply any smoothness change, it's going to be to this middle keyframe. And a smoothness setting of zero means it's going to take a straight line from one point to the next. So I've already rendered one out here. So I have the blue lines laid out here to show you the path this is going to take. It matches up with the upper right corner of the image. And you see as I play it, it's going to follow a straight line from keyframe 1 to keyframe 2 to keyframe 3. So that's a setting of 0 for the smoothness. But watch what happens if I click on this middle keyframe and now change the smoothness all the way up to its upper limit, which is 100. It's going to take a different path. Basically, it's traveling in arcs instead of straight lines. It's smoothing out its path between the points. So you see it right off the line and down the other side there, not following a 